next guest has long believed that you can make money and do good for society at the same time. Bobby Turner is the CEO of Turner Impact Capital, has made affordable housing his latest investment play, and he has some high-profile partners in that effort as well. Bobby joins us now. It's good to see you again. Happy New Year. It's been a while. Hey, Scott. It's so good to be back, and I'm really looking forward to a, a hopeful 2021. You are not the only one. I mean, <laughs> hope, hope is in part what you're trying to bring to people, uh, Bobby. We say, you know, making money and doing good for society at the same time. Your affordable workforce housing funds are, are among the largest of their kind in America. Why this area? Well, you know, Scott, sadly enough, even before COVID-19, our country has been falling short on its ideas. Um, when we think about the, 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 the facts, there's 38 million Americans living on food stamps in this country. Only one in three students in public schools are proficient at grade level. 78% of full-time workers are living paycheck to paycheck. And for this particular issue, one in two working families, nearly 24 million are, are rent burdened. Uh, spending upwards of a third of their income on rent. And candidly, one in four, nearly 12 million families are spending upwards of 60% of their income on rent. Uh, and that's just not sustainable. You add COVID to the equation, and it further exacerbates the disparity of opportunities. And, and candidly, while it's too soon to determine the magnitude of disruption by this pandemic, it's clear to, I think, all of us that it has absolutely hit our most vulnerable, our minority communities uh, much harder than others. And it's highlighted just how fragile our most vulnerable population are to economic, political, and unforeseen emergencies. I think it also exacerbates the government's inability to create lasting solutions to our most social, our most pressing social challenges, because candidly, as a result of this, there'll just be fewer dollars to be spent on the social safety net of education, health care, and housing. Spe speaking of dollars, how much have you raised, and, and how did Bill Ackman and Chris Paul of the NBA get involved with you on this? So over the past five years, we've raised about $1.4 billion for our social impact initiatives, which should enable us to do about $5 billion of community uh, enriching infrastructure. The most recent fund, we raised $350 million, which will enable us to buy an additional 10,000 units of affordable workforce housing and preserve it. Uh, about $1.25 billion of spending power with the new fund. And you're buying existing, um, you're buying existing multifamily structures, correct? We are. One of the criminal elements why we know that there's a huge demand for, for workforce housing. Uh, one of the problems that we're, we're, we're addressing is the fact that the existing stock of workforce housing is, is actually shrinking because every time naturally occurring housing, workforce housing is put on the market, it's bought by a more traditional investor who either scrapes it to build new condos or they improve it with new amenities and increase, wage, increase rents on, on the very consumer who's seen no wage inflation over the last few decades. Ackman has invested or he's backed four of, of your firm's funds. And, and Chris Paul's got, he's not just an ambassador putting his name on the, on the door. I mean, he's got some skin in the game too, right? Uh, he does. Uh, uh, Bill, Bill has been a super partner uh, and investor for many years across all of our platforms. He's in our, our housing funds and our education funds. Uh, Chris is an amazing ambassador for great will. Uh, this is not a, a franchise deal. It's not a licensing agreement. Uh, Chris is an investor. He's a partner in the fund, and he gets up every day and, and, and wants to be in the trenches fighting the injustices that come from social determination. What's the what's the takeaway, do you think, for the, the, the average investor out there? You know, let, let's just say my daily viewer, um, Bobby, who is looking for new and different investment opportunities. I'm looking at a, a scoop today of Amazon is now planning affordable housing investments over the next five years in and around Seattle and Arlington, Virginia and Nashville, Tennessee, three of its big employment hubs. Well, I think that first and foremost, investors should recognize that doing good and doing well needn't be exclusive. And if done correctly, there's actually a symbiotic relationship between profits and purpose. And if anything, this pandemic is proving out and confirming the thesis that the underlying demand for community serving or social impact infrastructure is, is huge, it's growing, and it's less correlated to the broader market indices. If you think about how well our funds have performed, our housing fund has collected in the high 90s percent uh, uh, rent collections every Every month since the pandemic started, our school funds and our health care funds have collected 100 percent rents. If you were an investor in an office building, uh, in retail or even hospitality, uh, your equity has been eviscerated at best. Uh, and what I always tell people is social impact funds drive strong risk adjusted returns because the underlying demand is less correlated to the broader indices. And I think it's incredibly exciting that and I welcome Amazon on its recognition of the issues that affordable housing uh, is, 
critical to the sustainability of our way of life. Uh, and from what I read, however, is that they'll be making below market loans and grants to public agencies to create or preserve the affordability of about 20,000 housing units in markets where they have headquarters. And while this is truly awesome, my concern is the capital that they're providing is below market uh, loans and grants, almost akin to philanthropy, and, and therefore is limited mm. in its scalability. Um, I say at the end of the day, if you want to cure, really cure an issue, uh, we need to employ market-driven solutions, uh, the ones like we use at Turner Impact Capital that create drivable, scalable, sustainable, and yet profitable change.